Hello guys, my name is XYZ Designs and um, here today I've got a Adobe After Effects CS5 tutorial and um, this is sort of going to be a series as people have been requ requesting tutorials and uh, so I'm just going to do um, sort of the basics today and then sort of gradually get more advanced as we go through the um, tutorials. So today we're just going to start with basics and first of all we're going to start with composition. Just click up to composition, new composition. And um, this is where you like sort out uh, all the stuff which you want for your video. So th here's the presets, the size, you can lock it, lock the aspect ratio, the frame rate which you want. I'd uh, normally use this or 30, but if I'm working with um, 60 frames per second uh, clips, like I'm on for three clips like that, I'd use 60, 59 like that. Uh, time in here and resolution. So just click, click OK. Also, if you um, want. To, uh, there's an easier way to go up, just right click here and uh, click new composition and it comes up with the same thing and click OK. Um, now is uh, importing your your stuff. You can either go up to uh, file, import, files, file, multiple files and uh, all these other stuff. So um, if you click multiple file it will um, let you select a file so I'll just click this, open, and as soon as that's imported, it'll open another window to import that uh, another clip like that. So um, then you click done when you've done uh, done it. But if you just uh, want a file, you can uh, if it's all on the same like folder or whatever, you can just cl uh, click one thing and then hold Control to click another and open them, and it will import both of them just like that. So um, that's how to import. Now, if you just drag the clip into your composition, which is this thing here right here, and it will come up in the preview thing. Obviously, this is way bigger than the, what my composition is, but well. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, this is down here is your timeline. This is where all the magic happens, really. <laughs> um, but this is where you control everything from. Uh, this is where you find stuff, the, the effects and presets, is where you find. Um, stuff to put on it and uh, the next thing is um, importing solids and stuff so um, if if I I don't really want that now uh, if I um, cl right click down here and go up to new there's solid text, light, camera, null object shape layer, adjustment layer and Adobe Photoshop file I just click the solid a solid will just be um, basically just a, a square of um, any shape you want um, I would normally just do make comp size so it will be exactly the same size as that and um, click OK you can also choose the colour right here so I will make that dark, uh, fully black like this and um, actually if I delete that make a, a solid a different colour so you can see it like that it will make it the fully size and it's just a normal square like this so um, uh, next thing is keyframes. Keyframing is a major part in this. Which, um, if you just tick down these boxes, it'll give you the transform, and this is how you uh, move it and transform it. Really, um, these stopwatches here is how you uh, keyframe it. So, if we want to keyframe the opacity, we'll just keyframe it here by clicking the stopwatch. Go over to one minute change the opacity to zero and then um, over here will pop up with a little star just click start and it will um, change the keyframe like that and click star uh, that didn't do anything Why didn't, oh. uh, there you go let's do that again right. this is failing right yeah um, and there you go, you can see the opacity changing. Uh, I don't know what happened there, I'll just run through that again. So yeah, just click the uh, stopwatch to, to create your first thing. Go over to where you want it to um, end or whatever. And just change the uh, the percentage here to zero. And it will make a keyframe automatically, just like that. <coughs> and also that works with all these other ones, so like scale. You can just keyframe here. Go over to here and change the scale. And there you go, it's created a keyframe and it's also made it bigger. As you can see, the red box going outside. Uh, how long done? Um, effects now. Effects is uh, 
a very good way of um, putting effects on. Uh, obviously, um, effects has everything from color correction to uh, all your plugins here. So uh, if you, you can't find your plugins, like on a uh, view with like uh, layer plugins or something. Uh, if you just go on to effects and um, all your plugins will be just on this uh, menu here so as you can see I've got magic bullet um, plugin here I've got uh, video copilot twitch and um, optical flares are RC and also there's a if you've installed tw uh, twixter you'll it'll just say visions plugins and there you go so I'll just show you the color correction if I can find it. There we go, and um, it will just come up. With, it's got loads of uh, installed color correction uh, things on it on it already. Uh, if I'll just go onto curves, and you just click on the thing that you want, and it'll come up in this little window here in the effects and presets. I think it's and um, yeah, basically it's sort of like Photoshop the thing here. So like, let me really turn. Now <coughs> you just change the RBG to so blue. Want that to go down there, let's go up. And uh, yeah, that's basically the same for each one. It'll just come up in this uh, little box and you'll just keyframe it with this little stopwatch, like I said before. Um, next thing is the preview bar, which is over here. If it's not here, you just go up to window and um, preview. Just click the preview and it will come up on the side here or it will just come up in a tab which I can't really do but um, basically if you just play it it will render each individual frame like that and it will be jaggedy because it's rendering and if you stop and go back to the first bit and play it will be there you go in full play but um, if you've got audio and stuff it's much easier to round preview so if you just click these uh, this arrow with loads of lines behind it It'll round preview. I think it's like 20 seconds with the audio, like that. And then if you click it, if you click again, it'll play. It. Just like that. And um, this is also is uh, a way to do each individual um, frame. So if you click this one, it'll just do in each individual frame like that. And if you do this one, it'll go straight to the end, and this one straight to the start. And this is also also audio mute there. And that's change loop. Yeah, yeah. You need to know about that. Um, also, I didn't mention the effects and presets here. If you uh, can't find a effect which you're looking for in here, just type it in over here, and it will come up. Basically, this is the same as this bar here, just in a little thing. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the next thing is 3D cameras and um, well not 3D cameras even 3D and uh, using cameras. If you uh, see this little symbol here, that makes it the whole thing 3D. So if you select this and click the box, now that that made it 3D. So if I view that, uh, delete these. Um, this will give it a loads more transform uh, options to do, and it will give you the X, Y, and Z rotation. Um, as it is 3D, you can rotate it like that. And also, you have the like the little arrows like on um, cinema. <coughs> so uh, yeah, that's basically the same as um, keyframing. That's all the same. Uh, like that and um, yeah, using cameras, you just right click, click new camera. It'll come up with um, this, like on uh, there's an option like this on cinema. We can change the angle and stuff like that. Uh, I'll just leave that the same. And this basically, uh, so it doesn't film this. It films. Uh, it like makes the whole thing move. So it's confusing. But say you want uh, this to move one way but say you want the whole screen to wiggle like everything to wiggle at the same time you'll use the camera to animate it to wiggle instead of moving every single one by um, uh, position like that so yeah I'm not I don't really use cameras too much so yeah uh, oh, 10 minutes uh, and rendering render queue this is uh, where you render it so if you go up to f composition 
and add to render queue. Um, you don't go up to file and export like that. That's just to uh, export it as a file, not actually a video. So if you go, um, add to render queue and go to output two, this is where you save it and save it name. And then if you go to output module, this is what you save it as. Just wait for this to load. <clears throat> Come on, there we go. And here we go. Format. It has tons of different formats. Uh, so I'll just choose that. Format options. This is like the quality and stuff. Uh, this is also like the millions of colors. Uh, yeah. Uh, and if you have audio, make sure you tick this and uh, choose what kilohertz you want. And if you want it stereo or mono and stuff like that. You can also crop and resize there as well. So just okay. And then you just click render, and the or look at an orange yellow bar will come along here until it's done and it will say estimated time and stuff like that so um, sorry that's been a bit rushed I've had a lot to talk about and I try to keep it in around 15 minutes so, um, so I hope you enjoyed and there will be more advanced tutorials in the future so thank you and goodbye